Hey, hey, hey! It's the Pacific Northwest Geek here. Echo! I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. Kiro here. Cha, cha, cha. And I'm going to be talking about the super awesome Fallout show currently on Amazon Prime. This eight episode show is super awesome. Absolutely loved it. Um, it's also apparently set in the same continuity as the fran game franchise. Uh, it takes place after this. So it's you know, further down the road. I think it's actually even further down than uh, Fallout 76. I'm not sure when Fallout 76 takes place. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a background if you really haven't played the games. In the late 21st century, this is all out nuclear attack. And this company called Voltec had built these underground, these, something like underground or in caves, whatever type facilities called the vaults. They're like basically fallout shelters, and each one's got numbered. The, the vault that uh, you come from in this one is Vault 111. Anyways, um, and, and the show is Vault 33, um, which is supposed to be interconnected with Vault 31 and 32, which I don't recall them ever doing that in the other games. Um, and set 200 years after the, uh, the bombs dropped, this follows four characters. Lucy, who escapes Vault 33 to find her father. The ghoul, who is basically a ghoul, is like basically people who have mutated or whatever because of the radiation, and now, besides having the ability to heal, they have extended lives. So he's been alive since before the bombs dropped. We see him in the first episode has a human. And they also have healing ability. We see a guy later on, he gets hit in the neck, and he pulls an air out, and they gotta tell him, oh, dude, you're, you're, you're a ghoul. Because the wound on his neck. Um, he is looking for the head of the scientist, who is, got some, he's looking for the scientist, and the scientist is hiding something, something some people want to get their hands on. Um, this guy Max, who's with the Brotherhood of Steel, who's one of the many factions, if you play the game, you're one of the different factions, who, uh, he's supposed to be a squire for uh, this guy Knight Titus, where after Titus dies, he takes his place, and he's looking for the head too, so he can take this thing back. He doesn't know what's going on, he doesn't know he's got to deliver this head to the Brotherhood. And it also follows uh, Norman, um, Lucy's uh, younger brother, as he is... As all this stuff is going outside the vault, he's finding something's going on inside the vault. Something's being covered up. So there's a little bit of, uh, you know, there's a little bit of horror because there's some gore in here and this kind of, you know, the ghouls. You get a few ghouls in it. Um, you get a few, you get a monster, you know, giant bugs. Oh, I love the ghosts. One scene where a guy takes his shoe off because you see his foot's all bloody after he removes his boot. You see it going through his, his sock and he pulls it off and one toe's barely hanging on and its bones are sticking out. Hey, this show, when it comes to the gore and the blood, it don't hold back. Anyway, he's got all that going on. Like He knows, the brother knows something's going on. So you're kind of like watching all this stuff going on and flashbacks to prior to the bombs being dropped. And stuff that gets said. And there's, I don't want to give too much away because I I'm, there's a lot of like um, you know stuff that's talked about in the past. I don't. I oh, I've only played the third game. I've only played Fallout Three, uh, New Vegas, Fallout Four, and a little bit of Fallout Seventy Six. So the stuff in this in this show that's talked about, I don't know if they talked about it in, the, in any of the other games. Um, it gives you know like stuff like the Pet Boy, the Pet Boy with his little. Um, I don't got a picture, but these. Little things they wear on the wrist that have this little guy, which you do see him in it. Uh, the music, oh, I love the music because it's like some of the music, like, you know, I don't 
want to set the world on fire. The music sounds a little, you know, like kind of like the old, the old sounding music. And there's a C because Vault 4 is seen in this. And Lucy is in this classroom and she's looking around. She sees this flag and she pulls the flag up. And as she sees that the flag says, the new California Republic, the music that starts to play is, I swear, the music that plays in the menu for this game. Oh, I really love it. And you do, like, you get to see some of, like, these different, like, towns, like, they, like, they look in the game. Um, you get to see the giant bugs. You get to see a dog that essentially is dog meat, which, uh, basically, you get to see that guy in it. I doubt it's the same character, because, uh, I don't know what, where in America this takes place. This, this show takes place primarily in, uh, you know, California, um, and oh, this is a, if you if you're a fan of the franchise, I am a fan of the franchise. Again, since part three, I haven't really played the older ones, so maybe if you played the older games, you might notice more. Um, seeing the the armor is pretty cool. Uh, the, the ghouls are pretty cool. You do get to see a feral ghoul. Um, you don't get to see death claws. Yes, at the end you do get to see the skull of a death claw. Oh. Um, you don't get to see super mutants. I, I would have been nice to see super mutants. Maybe I, we should if we get a season two, and I hope we get a season two. We need to see super mutants. We need to see to see the synth. Those are those humanoid looking machines. Some of them can look really human. Dude, those would be awesome to see. We see the Brotherhood. What about the Minutemen? Uh, which you you know you, which you know there's. I don't know if you're uh, really gonna focus on that, but there's a there's a minute man. Um, there's like these killer robots, kind of. You don't get to see a Mr. Handy. This shows a lot, and uh, hopefully we get a season two, um, so we can see more. And they're in California, which is right less next to uh, Nevada, which means. <gasps> New Vegas. I would love to see New Vegas. And if, if you are a fan of the game, check this show out. It is well worth it. I had a lot of fun watching it. And then Amazon Prime started acting up on me, so I was getting mad because I was having such a good time. It's so well written. And there's a scene where they're in Vault 4 and Lucy, they have, Lucy and, and Max got a high, got, not got a high, they got to sit in this quarantine room so they figure it's safe. She goes, you want to have sex? He's like, you want me to use my, my dick? He says another word, probably be a little PG there. And she's like, yeah. He's like, it's not good because then it was squid hard swell up and then this, this pus will come. He's like, act like it's going to pop a zit. And he's like, that's not good. It's not good for you. And she's got this dumbfounded look like, what the hell is this guy talking about? And then she tells him, you know that's supposed to happen. That whole scene cracked me up. I almost fell out of bed. You're laughing to death. Um, have you seen this show? Uh, my favorite character, I love Lucy. She's my favorite. She, you know, the goal's cool, yes, but Lucy's my favorite. What is your favorite character? What is your favorite moment? My favorite game of the franchise is this, because this is the one I keep coming back to. Um, I got the DSC like Fear Harbor. Um, there's a cult that's all into radiation. Um, you know, there's a lot. You know, be cool that we could see if we could get a season two. Um, like so, if we get a season two, which I really, really want us to get a season two, and I'm kind of at this point, I'm saying they better give us a season two. What would you like to see in it? Um, again, New Vegas, Death Claw, Synth, uh, Minutemen. Maybe those, whatever they call those children of the atom, whatever those ones who worship the radiation. Um, super mutants. At one point I thought that we saw super mutant, but it was just a raider or whatever. Um, they, just, the, the, the look of the vaults is a lot like, the, they captured the vaults look really good. They, the wasteland, how everything looked super awesome. They got the look, boom, head on. I feel. What do you guys think? I don't want to rant too long because this video is going to probably be about 10 minutes. So, 
again, check this out if you got Amazon Prime. Um, it's super awesome. I think even for someone who's not a fan of the game, who's never played the game, I think they might end up enjoying this and maybe even want to go play the game. Because it is on the PlayStation, it is on the Xbox, and it's on PC. I don't know if it's on Switch. But anyways, I gotta go. I gotta edit this down. And go get something to eat because I haven't eaten in hours. So I don't want to set the world on fire. I will see you on the flip side. Toodaloo.